Welcome back to Data Driven Engineering. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the RAG document storage and retrieval to be able to provide context for user questions with large language models. Now, in this scenario, we leave the large language model alone. We don't do fine tuning on the large language model, but instead we take relevant documents and encode those into a vector database. We store that and then when a question is asked that is also encoded through a smaller large language model and it searches for K nearest neighbors that then provide context for the question. And what this does is then you don't have to create a custom large language model for every specialization, but this becomes the reasoning engine. And then the documents, those become the current information, the additional context that the large language model can then use to be able to reason through and provide a more intelligent answer in the end. And what we're gonna do here is do everything locally. So everything's going to run through a Chroma DB database. So we're going to do retrieval augmented generation with a large language model, everything running on your own computer. So let's go through this Jupyter Notebook. I'm going to show you how to get there. You go to this course website. If you'd like to be able to download the Jupyter Notebook, it's here on GitHub. And we'll just follow along with this. You can't really run this through Google Colab because it requires the Olama server, but you still have that available if you'd like to just see the code and uh, go through it as much as you can. Okay, so there's the course website. Uh, I'm gonna open up the Jupyter Notebook now. And first of all, I need three packages. You need to pip install these if you don't have them. Well, first of all, import Olama and then import pandas as PD and then finally I'll import Chroma DB. Now the Alama also requires the Alama server either running remotely or locally on your own computer and you can get that okay download Alama and come here and download it you can download it with any of the major distributions it'll run large language models locally on your computer. Okay so after all of that is installed You'll also need to download the Mistral model, and uh, that is the subject of another tutorial that I'll show you. Also, there's a RAG similarity search here. If you need more information about running RAG locally with Chroma DB, there is a tutorial here that goes step by step through the process of creating a Chroma DB database, either in memory like this, or you can store it locally on your drive as well. Okay, so there's the Chroma DB. Let's go ahead and start with that. Well, first of all, uh, we'll load some data. In this case, we're going to create a Gecko chatbot off of some data that's on GitHub. Okay, so first of all, we'll go ahead and uh, define our Chroma DB setup and we'll read the Gecko LLM training data. Now this is available here. There's just a series of questions and answers, 500 of them that are available about the Gecko optimization suite, but you could substitute this with your own questions and answers or other information from PDF documents or other locations. Okay, so I'm just gonna read this. Here's the GitHub content with the path and it's going to be lmtraining.jsonl file. Okay, I'm going to put these together and read the JSON file with the URL on the path. And I'll say lines equals true because uh, each one, each record is separated by a line, not a comma. Okay, and then I'm going to create a list of documents, metadata, and IDs. I'm going to go through this a little bit fast because I already showed you there's a link there to go into it in more depth. Okay, I'm going to create a question and answer from each, and I'll append each one to this list. And then I'll create a client, 
and I create a collection called Gecko. And finally, I'll add the documents, metadata, and IDs. Okay, and then I'll return this database. Now, what I'll do is just call this right now, set up the Chroma DB database. All right, and here we have our setup. So I'll go ahead and run, first of all, this one, just to import the packages. Okay, so if you don't have that, then just come to your uh, Anaconda prompt. Okay, and pip install Olama. And it will install Olama for you. Um, if you're missing anything else, you can install that from pip as well. Sometimes you have to restart your kernel if it can't find it. Okay, so there I have it uh, with Olama and the other packages installed. Now let's go ahead and run this one just to create our database. And it's going to uh, parse this train.json L file and create this document store, this vector database that's going to be CDB that I'll call later. Okay, so next, what we want to do is create the Olama LLM function. So it's going to generate a response to a question and requires the Olama server and the Mistral model for this example. So let's get the Olama LLM function. We'll define Olama LLM and have question as an input, also our context as well. And then I'm going to format my prompt and that's going to be question. I'll put my question there. And then I'll also put my context as well. Okay, and then I'm going to get a response. I'll call olama.chat. And I'll say I'm going to use the Mistral model and my messages. I have role user. And then content is going to be this formatted prompt. Okay, and then I'll return my response. I just want to return the message, the content of the message. So it's stored as uh, this structure, and then you can ext extract just the parts that you want. There are also some, there's also some timing information or other things there that we don't necessarily need. Okay, so I'll go ahead and run this just to create my function. And now let's create our rag chain function that retrieves relevant information from the Chroma DB database and feed this information in as this context that we defined above. So first of all, I want to define the rag chain function. Here's my question. Here's my vector database. And I'll say that my context is going to be to do a query of that question, there's my query text. Okay, I want five results, five nearest neighbors, and I'll include documents in that. Okay, then formatted context, I'm gonna join those. Each one is gonna be separated by two return characters. And this is going to be my context documents. I'm just going to append those together into uh, this formatted text string separated by two return characters. And then I will also add to that uh, a little bit more information. Okay, you're a professional and technical assistant trained to answer questions about Gecko, which is a high performance Python package for optimization, simulation, machine learning, data science, model predictive control, and parameter estimation. In addition, you can also help with answering questions about programming in Python particularly in relation to the aforementioned topics. Your primary goal is to assist users in finding solutions and gaining knowledge in these areas. Okay, and then I have my result from that. So I've appended all of these things, added some additional instructions to the context that I want to add, no matter what the document search reveals, and then create this function call to Olama LLM with my question and then formatted text. And then I'll return my result. Now what we want to do is create a prompt for the local RAG LLM and test it. Okay, so I have my question, what are you trained to do? 
and I'll have my rag chain and let's put in this question with uh, the database as well and I can put an output here if I'd like and then print that output so I'll go ahead and run this this is just going to be the Mistral model it's going to load it locally now if you don't have a lot of GPU power available or VRAM then it might be a little bit slower okay so let's see I'm here to answer any questions about gecko okay did a pretty good job some of the context stuff I've noticed with the Mistral model it um, adds too much information after kind of the main question if you change it to a Mistral model it'll do a lot better okay let's ask uh, the gecko AI assistant this one is available also from a web interface what are you trained to do okay so the same thing just through this web interface and we'll hopefully see a response it's going to run it with the a larger LLM more capable on some cloud computing resources that are GPU enabled okay so uh, a little bit better answer than the Mistral one that we saw before and let's go ahead and just run this with Gecko as well. So this is also built into the Gecko package from Gecko import support. And then I'm going to create a new assistant that's going to be support.agent and then assistant ask. Okay, what are you trained to do? Again, this is cloud solutions not running locally. But we just want to give you an idea for you know if you struggle with some of the GPU resources that are available sometimes cloud computing is a better option okay so very similar to what we just saw from the online one as well okay so that's uh, this tutorial um, I'm gonna come back here again and just show you the course the data-driven engineering course and here we have the three topics rag similarity search large language model okay and then we also have this one that we're working on right here the rag and LM integration and doing that locally with the chroma DB database and a choice of large language models that runs through the Olama server